my coleotus beetles, coleotus coleotus, they are active now. Um, so I have to prepare today the box uh, for breeding so that the uh, uh, females can oviposit. And I'll show you what happened. This is the mating box for the pairs. So in every of these box I have a pair of coleot beetles. I put them in here with the idea that they have time and uh, to, to mate here and now I have seen that they have mated already and they are ready now to be put into one of these uh, breeding boxes. This is the male here and on in the back on the bottom here is the female. She's also active now. Beautiful lady stretched out antennas. Now, um, after they have made it, they need some time um, till the females are ready to lay eggs. But this time they can wait in the box. And of course, I have to see um, what animals they are. These are from the strain number one, uh, the male number 22. And the female from the strain number three. So here I have a pair from two different strains to prevent inbreeding. And that is my box. You can see that in an earlier video that I did about how I built up the whole thing with uh, loam on the, on the back with some leaves, with some sand. And now it's uh, time to prepare the surface of the box so that the female can dig in and lay their eggs. Normally, the female, if you put something like this bark on the top of it, the female will dig under it and make a tunnel down to the point where she wants to lay her eggs. And for this reason, I put two or three of pieces of bark in here. And of course, this hole is made for a beetle jelly. And what they like very much is a piece of fresh fruit where they can eat and also mate. Um, normally they mate on a fresh fruit. And now let's see whether the female, she's just starting to dig in or whether she wants to eat a little bit. We, have, we will see. She holds on to this, to this little peat pot now. But yeah. So, but after a few moments she will start moving around. Here is the male, we can take him with the whole piece of white rotten wood and just place him down here like this. So that's an interesting, an interesting thing for them to crawl around. This bark is very nice because the beetles can grab onto it if they fell on their backs. They have put some of this on the surface of the box at the places where they is open and as I put two or three beetle jellies this you can control very well from outside whether uh, they are eaten up or not and then of course I close the box it has a lot of ventilation holes so that uh, they can stay in here without Suffocating, yeah, I think that's very good. Uh, that's what I need just to close it. Close the lid. They are very strong. Actually, if you don't fix it uh, very well, they can get out here. But if you fix it with this one, it's not a problem. Now, what do I do with the empty box? The next box, of course, is already um, uh, ready now for the next pair. I remove all the stuff that was left behind all these empty beetle jellies. Look at the amount of beetle jellies they eat. They look they don't look so big but they eat immense material. I really don't know and wonder always where do they put all this material. And then I have to wet the whole thing. They are tropical beetles so uh, don't be afraid to add a lot of water but of course not to the breeding box because if the breeding box has too much water it will stand on the bottom and then it starts fouling and every process where it starts fouling there um, 
the toxic gases uh, come out and this will of, of course uh, kill the, the eggs of the so look here I have now here two boxes with a new pair and this is now my test pair where I will see whether whether um, it's much of an inbreeding existing if you if you put brother and sister into a box so here's the female very nice one it's also active already yeah she's crawling around look that's an active beautiful lady so have a look at her you can also put some of the material in here so have you see her okay go from the top so that you can see her and then what we need more is a male now here it's the male in this little box and it looks quite the same like the female it's also with uh, these white stripes along the border of the elutras and it's a very nice pair that I try to start mating in here of course I put the numbers of these two animals also on the box so that I can uh, keep uh, I can make a good bookkeeping and I put and add a fresh fruit and of course some more beetle cherries that they can go come close together when they eat on the beetle jelly and now I think they will stay in here for about two to three weeks normally I try to have a look and be sure that they have made it by seeing how they made in in this box and after that I put it to the breeding uh, container so the next check in this breeding container will be around in one month I think they at start when they are first in the breeding box they need a long time uh, to start uh, laying eggs so I think we around 1st of June we will come back and make a check of the breeding box thanks